Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutormash.com. In this video, we will see how to create a G plus 4 story building in Stat Pro using Structural Wizard. Structural Wizard is a command that helps user to choose the structure and modify from an existing template in Stat Pro. If you go into the Structural Wizard, you can see there are several types of templates that are available like truss models, frame models, surface plate models, solid model and composite model. Under these models, there are several other templates which you can take and modify it according to your requirement. Let's create a G plus 4 structure using Structural Wizard. This is the structure you need to create using Structural Wizard. We already know other methods to create a model, but it takes a lot of time to create such a complex one. In Structural Wizard, you can take this as a template and you can modify the length in x-axis. You can look at your global axis. X is referred to the length as 12 meter, height in y-axis as 15 meter and width in z-axis as 10 meter. And number of base in x-axis is 4. You can see there is 1, 2, 3 and 4 in x axis and number of bays in y axis is 5. You can see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and number of bays in z axis is 3. 1, 2 and 3. Let's see how to do this in Start Pro. Start with a new project, space, next. And you can start with open structure wizard and finish. You can see the structural wizard window is active. In your PC, if you are not getting this window, you can go to geometry and you can click run structural wizard option. Here, as we discussed, we have several models, truss, frame, surface, composite, and so on. If you select the frame models, you can see there are bay frames, grid frames, floor grid, continuous beam and so on. Let's select bay frame. Just double click on bay frame and you will get the parameter. You can enter the model name say G plus 4. And the length is 12 meter, number of bays along length is 4, height is 15, number of bays along the height is 5, width is 10 meter according to our exercise and number of base along width is 3 and here you can see a browse button when you click on this you can see the each bay the space between each columns is 3 taken as 3 right so 3 times 4 12 is the length similarly number of base along height there are five bays. Spacing between each bay is three. If you want to change the spacing, you can change it from here. Right? Press OK. Similarly, the width is 10 meter and it is divided to three sections. So each bay spacing is 3.33 meter. Right? And you can press OK. Press apply. And you can see the model from here. You can click and drag. You can see from various positions. Also, you can use this view command. This is front view, right, top, and isometric. If you want to merge this model with the Stat Pro, you can go to File option and you can select Merge Model with Stat Pro Model and press OK. Program will ask you where to place this model. You can say you can place it on X, Y, Z as 0. That means you are going to place this on the origin and press OK. You can see the building is created using structural wizard. You can take the distance. It's 12 meter, 10 meter and 15 meter, right? Similarly, we have another template. So let's go through it. Go to geometry, run structural wizard. You can see there is truss models, plat truss. You can give the properties of the plat truss and press apply and you can see how it looks like. Similarly, we have var and truss. Enter the properties and press apply. You can see how it looks like. So there are several models available here. You can just modify the parameter and you can use it in your 
stat pro model for design and analysis so that's the end of this session and we hope you understood well keep posting your queries and feedbacks and for more videos please log into www.tutormash.com thank you